When I was a kid, this used to be my favourite place in the whole world. I think this would still be my favourite spot. That's because you haven't been anywhere. Oh, so where's better than this then? Paris. So let's go. We could get on the Eurostar right now. You don't get it, Clark. I want to be in Paris as me. The old me. There she goes in front of me. Take my Tell me something life. good. Lose the time he's got left. Show him how good his life can be. We've barely left the house in two years. We have tried. Yes, but we haven't succeeded. Will needs to be allowed to feel like a man. Can I take you somewhere? You are so going on a date with Will Trainer. It's too baby. Get the red dress out. We'll make a memory out of it. Lose the scarf. If you're going to wear a dress like that, Clark, you have to wear it with confidence. Only you, Will Trainer, will tell a woman how to wear a bloody dress. Jojo and Amelia, welcome to Chicago. Thank, Thank you. you. First of all, this was the best treat ever because I was reading your book before I even knew I was going to get this interview. Oh, I, I okay. read to work on the way on the bus. And I got the interview my birthday week. I just turned 30 last week. You did not. Congratulations. Yes, it's our 30th year together. Indeed it is. That's awesome. Thank you for saying it on television. I'm sorry, I mean 28. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> 28 and a half. I'm joking. 28 and a half. <laughs> exactly, 22. Um, what? But I, I read it first, and then I got to see the movie, so it was like the best birthday gift ever. Oh, amazing. I got to Perfect. see the screening, and I went with a bunch of journalists, and I had to contain myself, because I honestly, it's one of my new favorite movies. I truly mean it. Yay. And I literally, there was the cute scenes with you and Sam, I literally would just have to squeeze my leg to contain myself. Oh. And the parts where I was like so like emotional, I had to go like this. So I was like staying professional. I was like, Jeff, keep it together, keep it together, keep it together. Uh, this is already my favorite interview. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I appreciate yes. well that. Well done. Yeah. Well, thank you. Well, I love this movie. And between you and Sam, was it easy for you to have that chemistry or did you have to work at it? And did they do justice to Lou and Will? Oh, you answer first. Um, well, it was it was really easy between us. We um, I've known him for about six years. We did our first ever photo shoot together when we were both. He was doing Pirates of the Caribbean and I was doing Thrones. And we did this photo shoot and got on really well. And then did a series of chemistry reads throughout six years, having never like never having never done a movie together. And then this happened. So we're like, well, of course. So you guys were already besties. We already, yeah. So it was re it was super easy. That's awesome. And yeah. did they do justice? Oh uh, well. You obviously think so. I absolutely I, think I so. certainly do. I yeah. mean, um, for me, you know, we saw a lot of actors for this. We saw in the hundreds um, because it was so key that these characters should be a fitting for the role, but also to have the great chemistry between them. And, you know, the audition tape of Sam and Amelia just blew us away. It well, I think it's a little ironic that your last name's Clark and so is your I character. Know. Yeah, no, Except you have that an has e at the occurred end. to me. Yeah. 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 No, I, I drew it in, don't worry. Did you? I did <laughs> no, the whole time too. There's a lot of highlighter in here. <laughs> yeah. But also, she just is Louisa. You I are. I mean, you can see yeah. it. In you real life, she's as far from the Khaleesi as you can get. Yeah. You <laughs> Thank are. Thank you. Thank you very she's much. She's also very funny. Guys. Yeah, and you're hilarious. Yeah. Thank but you. But you also wrote the screenplay for this as well. I did. So do you have to fight for anything to be in this film? From the book? Do you know what? Probably. I'm trying to think, did I have to fight for anything? Maybe one or two things, but in the great scheme of things, I was really lucky because Thea, the director, Thea Sherrick, and the studio and I all shared pretty much the same vision for it. So I think a lot of the things that I was slightly nervous of happening just never materialized. I mean, you know, you have your day-to-day -day disagreements about whether a line should sound one way or another, but there was just nothing you know, we weren't one of those kind of horror stories. We, we all got on really well. Sure, I so, loved it. Yeah, oh, thank you. And beyond me before you, I adore you as Daenerys on Game of Thrones. Thank you. It is the coolest character thank ever. You. Thank you. I have to say, though, when it comes to these films now and TV, do you feel like you have to take on these diverse roles so you make sure you don't become typecast and people can only see you as Daenerys? Well, see, I just, I never really, uh, with my career, I don't, I haven't got a plan. So I haven't, so there aren't roles that I'm like, I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do that and I'm going to do this. My goal as an actor is to have as much range, just mainly for me, as possible. Just to know that I've tried everything and seen which one fits and seen which one I loved and went, and all of those things. Um, I mean, it wouldn't be a bad thing to get typecast in Mother Dragons. She's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but no, having a chance to, to get some fresh air and within this role, as in to laugh and use my face and mm -hmm. kind of... Shed the wig. Yeah, Shed exactly. Wig. Where yeah. don my own locks. Um, all of those things combined added to the, to the glory of this experience. Well, really. you've been wonderful. You're very versatile. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bride or groom? 
Oh, neither. Are you? Godmother to the bride, which makes me morally responsible for her. Not one of my finer acts. Oh, you, you don't think much of her, then? This is a bit depressing. Mm. Still, one can't do these things sober. Oh, no, wait, there's alcohol in this stuff. Absolutely, darling. And I firmly encourage you to get as drunk as possible. <laughs> I hear rumours that the father of the bride is going to inflict another speech on us. <laughs> oh, no, 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 but I'm supposed to be driving Will home. Oh, yes, young Will. He was her chance, you know. Only one of that lot that was worth a damn. Terrible shame. Well, he's not dead. No, oh, for her, not him. No, Rupert's an arsehole. You take care of him. He's a good one. So after you, your next book, if and when this does amazing at the box office, because I truly think it's going to do so well, <laughs> I'm going to go back June 3rd, even though I've seen it. Yay! <laughs> Yay! We like that. Yeah. Would you be up for making the second book if it does well, and would you be up for playing Lou again? Uh, I've been so superstitious about answering this one because, you know, it's... I don't want to jinx anything. I would have her as Lou any day. I can't imagine anybody else as Louisa. It would be just so wrong. So, sure. yeah, it would it would be dependent on Amelia. <laughs> no, what? No! So well, we're going to get a no yes We're doing, doing the super set. Obviously I would. Awesome. I mean, like, yes. <laughs> and what do you say? You're going to give me a whirl? <laughs> how many how many of those did you drink? Come on, let's give these tosses something to talk about. Alright. <laughs> Are they all appalled? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Move closer. You smell fantastic. <laughs> you know you never would have let those breasts so near to me if I was in the wheelchair. <laughs> yeah. Well, you never would have been looking at these breasts if you hadn't been in a wheelchair. Of course I would. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. You would have been too busy looking at the leggy blondes, the ones you can smell an expense account at 40 paces. And anyway, I would have been over there serving the drinks. One of the invisibles. Am I right? Yes, but in my defense, <laughs> <laughs> I was an ass. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Architecture is huge in Chicago, so I want to get you guys a Chicago gift. Oh. So I called my friends at the Wendella and Architecture Tours, oh my and I got you two two tickets to go on the Architecture Tour today. So wow. you know, the okay. film's all about live boldly. That's so hey, amazing. live boldly, ladies. You are so kind. That's so sweet. That's so amazing. They, make it. they said wow. it's four o'clock, but if wow. you need more time, we'll change it for you. That's Thank incredible. You. Thank you so much. My pleasure, Amelia. Thank Such you. a pleasure. Pleasure to meet you, Jojo. Thank you so much. Love this movie, love this book. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank That's you, ladies. That's really kind. And if you hurt me, I don't want you to miss all the things that someone else could give you. I can make you happy. I have become a whole new person because of you. Do you know something, Clark? You are pretty much the only thing that makes me want to get up in the morning. Wait for me to come home.